and got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. inning 3-3 Dodgers and Rockies 0 oh, and 1 to Charlie swung on a high fly ball to deep left field the Dodgers have been empty if you believe a home run and the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule leave it to the Dodgers Charlie Culver's in a game winning home run what a moment to have it and would you believe his first home run of the year there's another drive deep down oh the line goodness. he crushed another one up into the billboard for another three run homer that's sick he's driven in eight runs From Flushing, Queens, baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the Texas Rangers and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Steven Matz is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, if you look at his whip, he's having a pretty effective season. He's keeping runners off the base path. He's not giving up a lot of runs, and he's giving his team a chance to win. If he does that same formula in this game, they may walk out of here with the W. Here's Elvis Andrus now, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Takes this the other way to right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. A chance now to look at the batting order for the visiting Rangers. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, this is a good hitting team. They're one of the better teams in terms of overall hits. They got guys throughout the lineup that put numbers up on the board. You may see a lot of hits within a ball game from this team. It's just a matter of how many hits will they string together. They string together a lot of hits. They've probably got a good shot of winning this game. The 0-2 home. And the changeup is way low that time. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Mine to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Back-to-back -back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but, man, they're swinging the bat pretty good. These two guys saw him pretty good. Let's see what happens now. At the plate, Adrian Beltre. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. Grounded back up the middle to Cabrera for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Cole Hamels, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's one of these guys that's going to battle. He sticks around the game long enough where you pick up a win like he did last outing. Only giving up one run, but he stayed in the game and he got the W. Maybe we'll see that type of performance from him today because he's that type of pitcher. At the plate, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Ready now with the payoff pitch. 
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, and he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Well, Matt, strangely, Ricky's going to be a trouble for the hitter. So he's frustrated. Now, as a hitter, you're saying get the ball up, but he loves to call the ball up. You don't want it up that high, though. He loves to call it that high, and you may see somebody turn around and get in his eye and start screaming at him. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. David Wright becomes out number two this inning. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Conforto. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Bases are empty here with two men out. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Hamels into the windup. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down in order go the Mets. We are still scoreless. Here's Rognet Odor now. He was one for four in Sunday's affair. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he is in there safely as he starts the second with a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Into the box now, Jonathan Lucroy. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swinging a soft liner, and that's in there. Base hit. Odor is on his way home, and he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Mike Napoli. Standing in now, Mike Napoli. Grounded foul. The one and two pitch in the dirt here and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch well when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt that's the danger you have to trust your catcher but this one skips away and the open this ball's down and that could bring in a run and this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker they're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second it's a two nothing ball game so much of this game is situational hitting guys nice right job fielder. there yeah you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here he just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout in now Shin Su Chu and now a pitch hit sharply on the ground here's the one and two delivery and he just misses with a curveball. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. you got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. 
Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Here's Jared Hoying. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a liner. And this will get over his outstretched glove. A great effort there, but it's a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only Got one right. away. Well, that's a line drive 35. single, but the runner's not going to score. Cool. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. They'll take the hit, but no RBI. Stepping in now, Cole Hamels. He swings and grounds it to short. One there, relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. So two runs on four base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Rangers on top here, two to nothing. Here's Juana Cespedes. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Here's the 3 0 pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. And, Harold, you take a look at these Rangers entering play here tonight. They've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last 10 ball games. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right for them. They're playing great baseball right now. I mean, timely hitting. The bullpen's coming through. It looks like they're, they're rested. They're doing the things they need to do to really be a winning club right now. He'll try it again, three and two. Now here's a ball popped up. Playable, however, for Lucroy behind the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Rangers. I'm looking at Rubenet Odor. I love this guy. Not tall, stands about 5'6", but man, does he have some kind of power and the ability to play with that fire within him. He's an intense player and a competitor. Stepping up now, Curtis Granderson. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Previously against Cole Hamels, five for 15. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. A take there by Granderson as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Batting set. Second baseman. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He enters play with an even 50 RBIs to this point. Runner at first here, one man out. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high change up. So I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Now here's a ball skied down the left field line. Hoying has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now with the plate, Jay Bruce. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. This pitch is popped up. Beltre is there for it. And that's the third out. We'll get a look at the speedy Elvis Andrus when we join you next. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. Here's Elvis Andrus now to start the inning out. Matt Vaskersian, Harold Reynolds, and Dan Plezak with you in the booth. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Conforto has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Up next for the Rangers, center fielder, Carlos Ready for another Gomez. chance? Carlos Gomez. He reached on a single in his first try. One out, nobody on. Shallow center. After it is Granderson. He's got it, and there are two down now. Third baseman, number 29, Adrian Belfry. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Belfry. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ooh, that's one he wants back right now. Man, it looked like his timing was perfect. He just didn't barrel it up. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. So Rugna Dodor gets a chance here in the inning following the base hit. Well, there's a little two-out base hit. Maybe start a little two-out rally. Now he's giving up some runs. Second he's a little vulnerable. Run. We've seen him give up Man. runs already in this oh, game. So maybe this is a start of something big. Into the box now. Rupnet Odor. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Rangers lead one. They're up two to nothing. Now at the plate. Rene Rivera. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. In the air out to straightaway left. Point is there, makes the play one away. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Now to the plate, Stephen Matz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes on one and one. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Down the first baseline. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. This is the one advantage the National League has, I believe, in an interleague game. Here's a pitcher, gets a base hit, he's used to hitting. The American League is kind of sitting there going, this is how you do it, guys. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. That's right there at the belt, one and two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. In now, David Wright. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And the pitch on two and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. When it left as bad, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. 
Strike two called and it's even at two. You know this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs so when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board it becomes really important to do so. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Sent out to straightaway center field. Gomez has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Two left for the Mets. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Digging in to try it again. Jonathan Lucroy. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Reyes will take this one for the first out. First baseman number five. Digging in for his second Mike at bat. Napoli. Mike Napoli. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. 1-1 one, one coming now to Napoli. And there's ball two now. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Tap down the line, but it gets foul. Two runs, six hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. On to first, and there are two down. The right fielder, number 17. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Shin Su Chu. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around first is Chu on his way to second now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. 15 game hit streak. Man, is he hot. He's swinging about great. And now the nation knows it. A lot of people paying attention. Posing pictures new, but now everybody's watching around the country. Into the box now. Jared Hoying. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's the payoff pitch. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Here's Juana Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Line towards center field. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. That's just really good hitting. Look, I like Number the three. decision. Three two changeup. Most guys are not going to hit that ball. He located and made his pitch, but he just got beat by a good hitter. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first down of the inning. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to the bend a lot, and by the 13, time it got there, it had fallen man. completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, as Drupal Cabrera. And Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. First Here's Jay Bruce now. 0 for 1 for him here Jay in this one. Bruce. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. 
And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Ball three. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Grounded softly to the right. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now batting. Catcher. Rene Rivera. So striding in. Rene Rivera as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And not in time as the run scores. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's now a 2-2 ball game. I always say the middle innings are the toughest part of the game with a lot of decisions being made. They be down two, come back, get that base hit. It changes everything. How I'm going to line up the pitching. Will my starter continue to pitch? Everything moving forward has changed from this point on. Stepping in now, Steven Matz. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Point has a beat on it. And that's the third out. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Striding in once again, Cole Hamels. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Hey, I'm not sure what he was not sitting on right one. there. Might have been stop. sitting on an no, off-speed pitch, yeah. but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Elvis Andrews. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Branderson is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, the center field. Here's Carlos Gomez. Carlos One for Gomez. two on his line so far in the game. Two out, nobody on. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Granderson is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Rangers set down in order. Halfway home, tied to a piece. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hamels ready with the 1 1. Misses with a curveball that made him move his feet. Two and one now to Reyes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Hey, that's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And this will be taken in out there by Gomez for the first out. Third baseman number five. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of 
when you're opposite handed opposite bat you can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. But baseball's a game of streaks and runs and he is on one right now. Yeah and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Digging in once again Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left hander starts to get cranking down there. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw on to Napoli takes care of him. Two away now. Striding in, Joanna Cespedes. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And this is chopped foul with the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. And this one gets away. Throw to the plate, and he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. And a disastrous time to uncork the wild pitch as the go-ahead run scores from third. Three runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Point moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Five innings complete. Mets out in front, three to two. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. He's one for two in the ball game. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's Rognet Odor now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. in the Mets bullpen now it's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw he pulls this one into right in there a base hit well that's another single another hit now they are first and second they just haven't now come up with that big catcher. hit to drive a lot of runs in they got to break Move things wrong. open pretty soon Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Into the box now. Jonathan Lucroy. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Well he's having a good amount of success here Dan even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah but for him Matt he's more pitch to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working so far and the way he pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another one two delivery hit down the line at first and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. First baseman number five Mike. Napoli. Here's Mike Napoli now as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 
And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close, so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. On the ground, up the middle. Played on the backhand. On the first, it's a double play. And another crisis is averted here as the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. In is Curtis Granderson. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Full count. Here it comes. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter number 13, second baseman. Here now is his dribble Cabrera, a hit in two tries so far. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lays off two and two now. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two and two count. Here it comes. Towards second. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Two strike hitting. Man, you love it when guys are able to fight the ball First off baseman, and get a hit. 19. Right here, he fights it off Shay. and flips it over the middle infielder's head. In now, Jay Bruce. There goes Cabrera. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Now batting, catcher, running. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that'll be all here for Cole Hamels. Matt Bush is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Rene Rivera will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. The set and the one one pitch a slider that he looks at over the outside corner. Working for the punch out and the offering and a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that at the plate with him and watching this at bat it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was you could tell these things and exploit them. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right handers begun to warm up out there. Stepping in now Stephen Matz pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right and that's going to fall for a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Matt, I think he lost his focus. He's got the pitcher up at the plate. He's got two outs. He managed the inning the way he wanted to get there so he could get out of it. And he gives up a base hit here. You can't give up the hit to the pitcher. Into the box, Jose Reyes. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. The 
Payoff pitch one more time. Hit in the air out to left. Moving under it, Poyne. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We're through six full. The Mets lead this one four to two. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Jared Hoying, one for two on his line so far in the game. Looks like a left hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on to get that tied run to the plate. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Delino De Shields will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. Now batting number one, shortstop, Elvis. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Still down by a count of four to two. Jeremy Jeffress is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Jeremy Jeffress. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And a fastball just a bit high. He's set. Here's the 3 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Hit back up the middle. Andrus has it. In time to first, and there are two away. The left fielder number. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now here's the pitch. Called strike on the sinker two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing 
you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, but they still lead this one four to two. Here's Carlos Gomez. He'll start us off in the eighth. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Crowd gets up for the three two. And that is swung on and missed so they'll keep Gomez off base here and there's one away. And in a 4 2 game, time to check the numbers here. It's our starter comparison as we see how these two performances stack up against one another. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Belfray. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Here's the one and one now to Beltray. And a big swing from Beltre, but this is a routine ground ball for short. Throw to first will be in time to retire Beltre, and there's out number two. Up next for the Rangers, second baseman. Here's Rodin Odor now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Hey, as we look at the numbers, we can see that he's north of 90 pitches right now. So it's not surprising to see him maybe losing a little bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Lucroy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a curveball that time that broke too low. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. That's what first happens when you put five. the ball in play. Three two count, you start the runner, he puts the ball in play, now you're sitting first and third. Love it. Digging in once again, Mike Napoli in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth Green. inning. A.J. Ramos trots in from the bullpen Number here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Rangers leave a pair. They trail it here 4-2. to two. Jake Diekman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jake Diekman. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. His past history with Jake Diekman, one for five. Here's the two one. Takes a knee high fastball. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. 
Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Well, that's his third hit of the night. And are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. In now, Jay Bruce. Ball two. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Another try at 2-2. And this one's in the dirt. Runners on first with one down. There goes Cabrera. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. Ready once again, Rene Rivera. His past history with Jake Diekman. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. For Cabrera at stolen base number 12 on the year. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit out towards second. A door is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Shinsu Chu will lead things off after the break. It's the Mets four and the Rangers two. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the night. Ready for another chance. Shinsu Chu. He'll lead it off against Jerry Spamilia who'll try to close the door in this one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Down the third baseline. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The left fielder number 31. Riding in once again Jared Hoyne. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Bases are empty one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right. Ranging into the outfield. He makes the running play. Two down. The pitcher number 41. James Loney will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. James Loney. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they one. refused to go Short down shot. without a fight. Elvis so they lived to fight some more. Ready for another shot now. Elvis Andrews. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, 
the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. And that's save number 33 on the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. Another nice outing from him. 4-2 to two the final score tonight. Steven Matz records his 14th winning decision of the season. Jerry Spamilia closes the door for the save his 33rd of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets four runs on nine hits no errors left seven. line drive left field that's it number 1,000 for Jose Altuve and he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first 1,000 hits with number three tonight fastest Astro ever to 1,000 Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen gate, it goes!